Nella here. Today I'm down at Yua and Taco and I'm about to take on their massive one kilo yakisoba challenge. Now this thing is absolutely crazy. It's got heaps of bacon, it's got heaps of noodles, it's just it's got lots of cabbage as well and it's got like this nice sauce on top of it. No one has completed this challenge yet. You've got to finish it in 10 minutes. People have tried but no one's been able to finish it in 10 minutes yet so yeah I'm very excited. Um, I've still got my broken elbow as you can see so I've got a little bit of a um, little bit of a what's the word I'm looking for? A handicap. I've got a little bit of a handicap um, but I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna see if I can eat this in 10 minutes. So I've got my timer there. Trusty Coke Zero over there and yeah let's get into it. Hi, Baba. Here's Baba. Here's how we're marketing. Here's how we're filming this day. Nice to meet you. I've seen some of your videos. I was the one who found them. Oh, thank you. I'm very, very excited. Impressive. I could, I could give it. I don't know. Oh, thank you. You're, not, you're a good marketing person, so I actually like seeing the heaps of stuff on Instagram or any of you guys. Oh, okay. well, yeah. well, I'm glad you're excited. Yeah, mostly the talkie out here. There's quite a lot of, I think it's TikTok videos. Yeah. yeah. I, we can give you some after you quiet. Yeah. 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 Don't give away her secrets. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you look very tall. No, I wasn't aware of being in the office. And I'm in sports here. So. Do you want any drinks? Oh, yes, please. What do you got? Right. Cup Zero. Oh, Cup Zero, please. Please, please, please. Thank you. Don't be a pain in that something I'm hoping for. So my little teeth. You can just oh, stick my elbow. Yeah. I can't, I can't yeah, do anything. So we have a tiny show back here. Okay. There's so like a few quick things. You know when you eat quick things? Yeah. Um, because <laughs> it's fried in the middle. It's quite dry. <laughs> yeah. So I recommend maybe cook some of it. Oh, yeah. It's a bit of a moisture oh, on yeah. the... Yeah. And it cuts off like the oiliness of the noodle. Yeah. Especially it could be good at the end of yeah. like flavor fatigue, mm. just like dump them on. Especially because of the bacon, like, like bacon is like oily. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, Looks very nice though. That ginger really like it cuts to it. If you like you like pickles, like Oh yeah. It's kinda I love like, pickles. Yeah. It's like sushi ginger. Yeah, no, I've had I've had something similar before. I love pickles but not pickles ginger. <laughs> I love any kind of pickle, especially like pickled radish is my favorite. Oh, yum. Just keeping it halal. What about um, jalapenos? Oh, yeah, yeah, I love jalapenos. Oh, I'm in there. <laughs> oh, you're good. What's the like most food you've eaten in one day? Um, oh man, I don't know, probably, I think. When I did, when I used to have my eyes to own a restaurant called Tucks and Bow, we did this, um, one of my chefs was also a competitive eater, so he created this challenge for me, we would carry it together, it was like the Chairman Bow Challenge, it was like this massive burger bow, heaps of bow around it, heaps of chips, a 1.1 liter thick shake with like a massive candy, oh like decoration on it, it was like six chocolate bars or something. That's probably like, and I got to the end of it and I like couldn't, I felt like I couldn't finish it, but because I was filming like a TV thing and also the chef was like staring at me, I was like, nah, I gotta finish this. So I'd say that's probably the most I've ever eaten. I was in so much pain afterwards, it was crazy. Do you like, do you, do you do anything afterwards? Like, 
Oh, I'm just like sleep. Like lay down. <laughs> thing again like so I can just get like a TikTok of it as well. I'm gonna be a pain so I'll be filming like three different things. <laughs> that looks so it's pretty hard to do it this much. Cool. 
Perfect. Go so another stew, another. You guys should create like a spicy challenge as well. Yeah. We kind of have one because we have these two, like, do you know fire noodles? Yes. Yeah, oh, have, I, I love fire noodles. Yeah. So we have the two times one, except it's sold out. And then we have, on this we have something called Jigoku. Jigoku means cow. Basically we have our own spicy sauce, plus wasabi mayo. And we put it together inside the fire noodles. Oh. Like a little spicy. You can get it at, um, do you know, New Market Mall? Yep. I was there yesterday. Um, you can get it at the little Asian supermarket next to Count now. Because, yeah, I got the stew ones, which are like sold out everywhere, but they've got the two times spicy at the moment. They've got heaps. Oh. So if you go there, you can get some. We have to buy it from like wholesale. Oh, really? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, fair enough. But I mean, if you want a spicy challenge, you <laughs> Not this one, not this one. No, no, Maybe no. with my elbow is better. <laughs> yeah. this, this here is like pure capsaicin. Oh, yeah, it's, oh, like oh. it's like the chemical that goes in capsaicin. Uh, <laughs> I hate that. I've done like a pizza challenge before. I'm pretty sure all they had was that. That's so. And it was so. I like almost called an ambulance. Like I was in so much pain. But I really like fire noodles. Oh. Like I'm obsessed with fire noodles. Yeah, me too. I love them. Sorry. A little bit of heat. Sorry. Was that too loud? <laughs> <laughs> You're such a cute. <laughs> Not spiders, but wasps are okay. These I can't touch because, like, you know, if it gets in me, I'm going to ask for food. Sometimes it's like that, sometimes it's not. I'll do another next and do a short. Hi, hi. <laughs> hey guys, it's Nella here. Today I'm down at Yua and Taco. Taco? Taco, yeah, I'm gonna fuck up. You need to turn the camera off. Oh, fuck, I was doing that, okay. Yes, yeah, like, I don't want to interrupt. I don't know, yeah, don't <laughs> thank you for telling me. Hey guys, it's Nella here. Today I'm down at Yua and Taco and I'm about to take on their massive one kilo yakisoba noodle challenge. Alright, so before I start, I'm just going to transfer some of these into this bowl because with my broken elbow, it's going to be hella hard for me to do it while I'm being time. Um, so... Do you want me to help? Sure. <laughs> 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 so what was the time you said the person ate it in the quickest? Uh, for me, I think I can do it in 15 minutes. 15 minutes? 15, 14, 14. And what was the other guy that did it? Uh, he failed. He failed. <laughs> Oh, so he didn't need it, he didn't finish at all. Was that Lucas? Yeah. He, he, like he didn't Gigi even though. hit halfway. <laughs> Damn, you packed this ball hella tight. He <laughs> was so it's still like so cool. I guess because it's like a kg of noodles, but then once you add the cabbage and onion and yeah. bacon. I can just wipe it off, it's like heavy, right? So it's like, mm. what? Yeah, so it's a kg of noodles, and then it's also the bacon and the cabbage and onion and everything else. 
So yeah, it's probably like nearing 1.2 1. 1. <laughs> kilos. You hear that, guys? 1.2 kilos. <laughs> Damn, I've got two balls like the same size as when I started. <laughs> Put this phone down. Okay, I do have chopsticks, but I might just use the fork just because I am a cripple at the moment, so it might be easier. Thank you. Maybe it will just open these up a bit so they're just hot. I don't know if you guys can see like all the steam coming off it, but it's very steamy. Alrighty, I reckon I'm gonna go for this bowl first just because it'll be the less hot bowl and it's got all the bacon underneath as well. Um, okay. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, three, two, one, and go.
be coming back here um, so the time to eat it in was 10 minutes and I ended up eating it in 6 minutes and 48 seconds which I'm so so proud of oh my god so happy about that um, so yeah, if you guys want to come if you're in Auckland you want to try out the challenge come on down I'll put a link down below in the description um, I highly recommend it it's, it's very doable it, it is a lot of noodles and it is quite daunting but it's doable as you can see um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, if you haven't already, please go check out my merch. There'll be a link down below in the description for that. It's all on Champion Clothing. I designed it all myself. So yeah, go check it out. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you next time. So apparently I get a prize as well. I was unaware of this, but apparently there's prize money. So even more initiative for you guys to come try it out. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you.